Hi guys, Baz here from Hognos UK. This is part three of my carnivore video. Um, if, if those of you who've been following me would have seen the carnivore videos that we um, I've produced recently. This one is uh, about the carnivore clown. The carnivore clown is now on the ground and out and out and produced. Um, can't say I can take the credit for it. Jamie McDonald, friend of mine, bought um, a carnivore spot nose lesser off of me a couple of years ago. Uh, and uh, my friend Wayne Eden also bought a spot nose carnivore off of me a couple of years ago. Now, the results that they've had are, are quite interesting, but a little bit different, but because of um, one of the genes that's in uh, one of the females. So Jamie bred his lesser spot nose carnivore to a motley 100% het clown, and he hit two clowns, which uh, you'll see in a, in a little while, which are, are absolutely stunning. And then Wayne put his into a normal looking clown, but I don't think it is quite normal. It's not a traditional looking normal clown. There may be another gene at play, I'm not sure. So um, Jamie hit two clowns. He hit a bat, what would be the equivalent of a Batman. So we've called it, we've called it the twisted Batman. So it's like a Batman with a twist. Uh, Wayne's also hit one of those. Uh, both of them are hit boys. Um, Jamie also hit a lesser spot nose uh, carnivore uh, clown which is uh, really clean and really it's got motley in it as well so it looks a bit different so um, Jamie's and uh, Wayne's twisted Batman's look a little bit different so uh, but down to the motley gene and then at the end of it I'll show you a couple of other animals that um, came out of the same clutch with the motley gene in and the carnivore gene, uh, and, and it does it does uh, put an interesting twist on the twists. So, um, without further ado, Wayne's um, too chicken shit to come on the camera. He's a bit bit shy, so um, I, he's going to stand in the background and probably <laughs> interject occasionally. But he doesn't want to come this side of the camera. So, there you go. Without further ado, let's show you the. Uh, the carnivore clowns, first ones in the world. So this first snake I'm going to show you is the equivalent of a carnivore Batman. We're going to call it the twisted Batman because it's a Batman with a twist. I don't have a Batman in my shed to compare this to, but those of you that are familiar with the Batman gene will know that this isn't the same. Um, they're quite a lot different. They've, these bits on the sides of where the fingers come down and split off are quite different. It's a lot more markings on these than there would be um, with, with a Batman. It's a lot busier in the body than a Batman. The thing I love really about this guy is the head stamp. We've called it a fire pilot um, because that's what we think it looks like. It's interesting, not all carnivores have got this head stamp. Only carnivores that are mixed with spot nose and carnivores that are. Um, Heckland. Another interesting part of it of, of this is that um, the billies, are, billies, yeah. the bellies are very busy, um, but they don't have the neck stripe like the um, other carnivores that haven't got pastel or lesser in them. So this is basically a carnivore Batman. I'm going to call it a twisty Batman. Um, and this was produced by Wayne Eden, um, the first Batman twisty Batman that we've produced. Next one, this is what we believe is a single gene carnivore clown. Look at that head, she looks really angry. I love the head markings on this, this is amazing. She's absolutely stunning. Now, a lot of people have said that the carnivore looks like a leopard, um, and this is the first carnivore clown, which is a single gene that we've made. And as you can clearly see, it does not look like a leopard. It doesn't have the same head stamp as a leopard. Now this girl, it's really hard to see and I very much doubt whether the camera will pick it up but she has actually got the fighter pilot head stamp I'll put it right up to the camera and see if you can see it but I'm not sure if it will come across very well or not and these, these are, this is quite interesting, there's lots of blushing down the dorsal stripe um, absolutely gorgeous girl this I think this one's staying put, is it staying put Wayne? Is it staying or not? One or the other Okay the, the, the one one of the things I really like about this girl is is the uh, the eye stripe the eyebrows and the little 
angry little arrow that comes off between her eyes. I think that's really cool. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. And this part of the head is slightly different from the other one. So this is the, the world's first female carnivore clown. Again, absolutely doesn't look like a leopard. Unfortunately, I don't have any baby leopards to compare it to directly. But um, those who know leopard clowns will know this isn't a leopard clown. Okay, this is another uh, carnivore female clown. We don't know why, but she's got some kind of weird ringer uh, arrangement going on. Let me just unfold her. So put her onto my hand. There we can see there's um, like a mottled, checkered kind of ringer going around. So there's no yellow belly involved and there's no, um, there's no uh, pied as far as we're aware. Um, but we've got this, this amazing looking ringer on this girl. She's very similar to the other one. She's got um, the, little, the little blushing in amongst the dorsal stripe. She's got a little bit more white in her fingers, which may be what's led to this. I don't know. Um, then the head, you can actually see the fighter pilot head stamp much easier on this girl. It's a little bit sort of faded on the other one, but this one is much, much more obvious. So, um, and, and again, on this one, the belly, the belly is quite busy down the sides, but actually nothing in the middle like, whoops, nothing in the middle like there is on a, a, a single gene carnivore without a clown or the spot nose in it. And actually that ringer goes right round onto the belly. It's very interesting. I think we might have to stick a pie in this. <laughs> so there we go, second carnivore clown, female. Amazing head stamp, I love that girl's head. So the guy that produced these, we call him Brucey, um, is a Bruce Wayne. He's a um, spot nose carnivore um, het clown. And this is a replica of him. So this is one of the babies. This breeding was carnivore spot nose het clown to clown. Um, and as you can see, we've got three clowns out, or Wayne got three clowns out. This, this guy's absolutely stunning. He's a bit different from his dad. He's got some interesting uh, blushing down his side and that that his dad didn't have so we're not not really sure that may come from the female clown I don't know but there you go so this is um kind of the carnivore version of a Bruce Wayne and he's got beautiful head stamp that's the one with the belly well this all the side of the belly going one down that so there we go and this this boy is a hundred percent head clown not visual clown but he has got the belly striping and the belly markings um, like I'd expect to see from a carnivore. Um, so this little guy is a equivalent of a Bruce Wayne. So I suppose we should call if we called him the Batman a twisted Batman, then we should call this Bruce Wayne with a twist. Uh, anyway, there he is. Got stunning head stamp. All 100% head clown, obviously. So here we have the next carnivore clown. These were produced by a friend of ours called Jamie McDonald. Can you see the... Uh... Okay. Yeah, that's better. And there we go. There's the uh, the alien head stamp again. So this is another um, twisted Batman, but it's a twisted Batman with an even further twist. This guy has got the motley gene in him as well. Um, so it's made it look even different from the one that Wayne's produced. Um, it's not got so much of the white blushing down the sides and uh, not so much of the white inside these bits either so actually quite a different looking animal if we put them both together Oops. there's a difference in color as well isn't there so this guy is a lot lighter than this one the back the uh, the dorsal stripes a little bit wider on the one that Jamie produced the head stamps are identical look at those Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Besides, there's not a lot in it actually. I think it's there's there's not a great deal of difference between the two, but I think the motley gene has, has changed the colour a little bit. I would have said um the a bit. motley should have yeah, I would have thought the motley would have actually made the pattern a bit more sparser, but I don't think it has. It's not a great deal of difference between the two. The head stamp's the same. It's just the colour difference, I think, really. It's all the Motley's brought to it. And then he's got... The touch pattern as well. Yeah. As it's bone out, we'll power this. Yeah. And then you've got literally nothing. 
Yeah, it's not a lot in it. I thought the Motley would have made a massive amount of difference, really, to be honest, but... Didn't make nothing. It's not really hardly any, is it? It's just it's dulled it down, made it a bit darker. So there he is, there's another twisted Batman. Slightly darker version with the Motley on board. This is the next carnivore clown that's been produced by Jamie McDonald. Um, he was the second person to buy the carnivore head clown off of me. Um, and he put it into a motley female, 100% head clown. And the male that he's got is a Bruce Wayne with lesser on board. So this one is a, um, a lesser carnivore um, spot. We think spot nose. The only reason we think spot nose is because any any of these animals that don't have spot nose in them don't have this uh, this head stamp, so we think it's probably got spot nose in. But until we've bred it, we're not really going to know. But um, um, this has also got motley in it, and this is what I would have expected the other clown to be like. You know, it's whacked out the sides. I know uh, I know lesser and carnivore work together to do that, but they reduce it a little bit. But I think there's also um, blade in the mix somewhere, so it could also be that that's influenced it. There we go, once again there's that fighter pilot head. The eye stripes have completely disappeared, there's none at all. It's got little, like, almost like mascara around its eyes, it's got like a dark ring around its eyes, I quite like that. Um, I like the colour in, in this as well, can you see what, what's the colour in the middle of the dorsal stripe there? Orange. Yeah, a lot of, <coughs> there's a lot of nice colours coming through. Um, I guess we won't really know what's in this boy until 100% until we breed him. but. In order to achieve the head stamp that we got there, they've got to have spot nose, uh, carnivore, and clown or head clown. And so I'm willing to bet that this guy proves out to be a spot nose, which is going to be weird. So there we are, a lesser carnivore spot nose clown. Now this one is quite interesting. So this is a uh, carnivore lesser motley um, I've made carnivore lessers before and they look very very different to this so I think the motley gene has really messed this up and I think to an extent it's darkened it quite a lot and it's <laughs> lots it's got lots of hooks and whistles on it like the um, a bit like the hurricane and the frenzy and the blitz and all that sort of thing it's made it a really busy animal so this is a male uh, and it's 66 percent heck clan because Jamie's breeding was um, a carnivore spot nose lesser het clown to a motley het clown bit i really like this one there's the typical carnivore um tail stripe but because he's got lesser in it it's completely weighted out the belly any anything that's got lesser in it that we've produced in the past is the same you don't get the next stripe with it but that's definitely a carnivore nose um 66 percent het clown with the motley gene on top now I, I don't again I don't have a small spot nose head clown to compare it to. I've got lots of spot nose head clowns but not, not little ones that we can compare it to. Um the motley's made a real difference to the colour. Um and, and the pattern, everything everything's slightly off about it. It's it's like a much deeper, much brighter colour than um it's like deeper oranges and yellows round the side and the dorsal stripes are a lot darker. It's got an amazing head stamp. Look at that really nice but th that's the difference that a um, that the motley gene makes to spot nose it's not really anything to do with the carnivore clutch but I, I think he's really pretty and I thought I'd show him off as we were doing a film look at that head so there you go there was a few doubters saying the carnivore looked too much like a leopard to be a gene on its own but in fact now you can see that they produce different animals um, the, the single gene carnivore clown doesn't look anything like a leopard um, and uh, nor does you know the, the the twisted Batman doesn't look anything like a traditional looking Batman so hopefully that will put paid to that one so so hopefully that will put paid to people saying that it looks it, you know it's the same as a leopard because clearly what it's doing isn't and in fact uh, I'm going to do a carnivore part four uh, I'm going to do some comparisons. So I have a bamboo carnivore and I have a bamboo leopard. Um, I've got blackhead leopards and I've got blackhead carnivores. Um, I've got leopard lessers and carnivore lessers. So I'm going to do a video 
uh, and put those side by side so people can actually see the difference. There's a vast difference. I've been working with the gene for a few years now so I can see the difference really easy. Uh, but I think once people see the, these comparisons up close, I think you know that it will finally put to bed these people that are saying they look, it looks like a leopard. Um, I've had people say it looks like an acid as well, and I've also had people say it looks like a confusion, but it, it does different things. I'm currently putting a super leopard uh, motley clown into a uh, carnivore. So the leopard and carnivore together, see what they do in a meeting. Uh, see what that creates and um, hopefully that should be the end of that anyway I'm waffling thank you for watching this video uh, please tick like if you enjoyed it and uh, I'd appreciate if you tick subscribe and uh, stay safe out there